for Cosmo, and today is a big day for him. It's the day he gets to meet his new forever family. Zach answered the door, and I instantly told him to shush, because I wanted to make this a big surprise for his wife and his kids. So we tiptoed through the house and surprised them. Room for one more? Oh, hey! Hey! And they were definitely surprised. At first, I didn't really understand what was going on. I just kind of looked over and I was like, is that our dog right there? I'm right here. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Look at our dog. Oh, hi, Cosmo. I had to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the family and explain to them about Cosmo's history. He was abused. He was hit. I was very surprised to hear Brandon talk about Cosmo's past and uh, a little saddened. He's very hand shy. He's very reactive. You're going to notice he's jumpy around feet. Is there anything specific we need to do? Your only job at this point is just to give him what he needs in life and right now. It's basically love. Just be a good family to him. Well, we can do that. We're happy that we were able to save him and that we'll be able to be a little more cautious of what he went through. So I think we'll be able to love him the way he would like to. Come here. Mm. I know. Yes, he is. Got your cute bud. Yeah, Tanner. Got it? Yeah, right. Yay, Cosmo. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you. Cosmo was your classic case of a dog who became a product of his own environment. An environment that no dog should ever have to live in. But sometimes, when things are falling apart, they're actually falling into place. Although the scars from his past might still remain, Cosmo now has a second chance at life with his new family, ensuring many years of happiness. From hopeless to a home, that's my mission. One dog at a time. She's a very special animal. We wanted her to see a very special vet. So, and we thought it'd be a, a lovely surprise for him as well. All right, so Xavier, right? That's great, yes. 